The Indian Navy will sign the deal for 26 Rafale Marine fighters and three additional Calvary class submarines together worth over $10 billion during Prime Minister Modi's visit to France next month. Goa Shipyard Limited has concurrently launched two indigenously designed and constructed fast patrol vessels for the Indian Coast Guard. The acquisition of Rotax engines by a Chinese group has raised eyebrows in India, as both the Tapas and Archer NG currently use these Rotax engines. The Indian Air Force chief carried out a comprehensive review of the overall combat readiness of the armed forces around the strategically located Luxadweep Islands. The Indian Army's elite Special Forces Para Unit is acquiring 200 more units of the Black Hornet Nano drone from Norway-based company Prox Dynamics. Scientists have been instructed to prioritize technologies that minimize the radar cross-section of the Gata QCAF using artificial intelligence tools. Apart from inducting 40J35A, Pakistan Air Force has plans to transition to an almost entirely fifth-generation fleet by 2047, with ambitions to operate around 450 such aircraft. Tamil Nadu-based Shiva Texian Limited has clinched a significant contract from the Department of Military Affairs for the supply of 16,000 pairs of NBC suits. A senior Indian Air Force official has said, that the newly delivered Su-57 units to the Russian Air Force lacks 2D thrust vector control and stealth engine casing, raising questions about the readiness and maturity of these technologies, and even if these technologies are offered with the AL-51F1 engine in the export variant, they are at least four years away from production readiness. The delays in the Su-57 E variant underscores the need for India to explore other options, such as the indigenous AMCA program, or partnerships with Western defense manufacturers. The DRDO is developing a high-altitude long-endurance UAV, in which General Atomics will play a small role as consultant, to validate some of the systems that it plans to develop for the program. It is designed to be a 5-ton platform, and will have a payload capacity of 2 tons, allowing it to be equipped with a variety of sensors, cameras and potentially strike capabilities. With an endurance of over 25 hours and an operational ceiling higher than 35,000 feet, this new hail UAV will be capable of flying above most commercial and military aircraft, providing a strategic advantage in surveillance and reconnaissance. Larsen and Tubro has begun manufacturing the second prototype of the Zorawa light tank, and this development comes as the Indian Army gears up to conduct extensive trials on the first prototype of this new light tank. The second prototype's manufacturing signifies an acceleration in the development process, that will provide the Army with an opportunity to compare and refine the tank's design based on feedback from the ongoing trials. Officials have said, that the design blueprint for the new 1.3-ton Brahmos NG missile has been finalized, and the missile is now moving towards the development phase. This phase will see Brahmos Aerospace conducting captive flight trials starting in 2026, and if integration and these captive flight trials are concluded smoothly, then the first developmental test firing could take place by 2027. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, my God.